I'm a 3D artist, and in this video, I designed Mr. Beast a custom 100 million play button. The designs I made in this video turned out way better than I expected, so if you like what you see, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. The first step in making something like this is coming up with a good design. I started blocking out the basic structure, which usually consists of a base and a tower, at least if we're going by YouTube's design process. If I've learned anything from my years of emotional pain, you can come up with basic designs and structures on your own, but you won't get very far without uh, borrowing design principles from others. I scoured the internet for anything and everything I could use. Old awards, jewelry, art, more art, and I walked away with a good amount of inspiration. But whatever I made still had to follow a set of rules. Rule number one. The last play button we made was way too big. So big, in fact, that we could barely get it through security, let alone onto a plane. For this award, I wanted to have a more cubic shape. That way it still looks impressive, but is a lot more efficient when it comes to storing it. Rule number two. It has to look like it came from YouTube. The best part of the 100 million play button is the red diamond in the center. Therefore, the new award has to include the original crystal used for these play buttons as part of the design. It wouldn't be a 100 million play button without one. I have no idea how to get those, but I do have a plan. Please, can I have some of your diamonds? Thanks. That should work. With some basic rules out of the way, I started gathering reference. I went through thousands of images looking for inspiration, and what I found was less than helpful to say the least. But little by little, I found things that sparked my interest, and eventually I had a basic design in mind. Mr. Beast's 100 million play button will be made up of three main objects. The first object is Mr. Beast's logo. Now you may have noticed, I did the exact same thing last time, but this time, it's 3D. I don't know why seeing a rat skull made me think of that, but you know. With references in hand, I grabbed some cat pictures and started sculpting. Sculpting is one of those things that takes way too much time, so while I do that, I gotta tell you about State of Survival, the sponsor of this video. They're the only reason these builds are possible, I mean, let's be real. State of Survival is a free mobile game with post-apoc- post -apoc post how do you spell that? You survive against zombies. Immerse yourself in the deep story and lore woven into the very fabric of this game. That's a dog with a minigun. Uh, I'm getting distracted. I gotta keep sculpting. Grow and design your settlement from this dumpy place to a thriving community. Look how happy the dog is. You see, in state of survival, there's a million ways to survive. Will he save the woman? <laughs> nope. That sometimes you gotta make the tough decisions. Choose from over 50 heroes with unique backstories like this guy with a mutated arm. Or maybe you will choose the grandma who specializes in... Is that... No. Why is she smiling? Where did she get that? Download State of Survival now using my link in creator code to get a free starter pack. And they're giving a random person who upgrades to level six a free Oculus Quest, which will be announced within a month. Four miserable hours later, after I had sculpted Mr. Beast's head down to the teeth, I realized I had broken my own rule. The face doesn't look that bad so far, but I need to tone it down a lot. If I continued on like this, there's no way it would look like it was from YouTube. But that's when I had a great idea. The 100 million play button is made of these faceted shapes that I've used in every one of my projects. I looked my masterpiece in the eye one last time, and then I used a decimation algorithm to absolutely shred it into a faceted version. It looks way better in my opinion, so I made hundreds of versions to test what size and shape of facets looks the best. Do I regret having spent hours sculpting Mr. Beast's tongue knowing that it is now a triangle? It is what it is, simple as that. I've always been a big fan of polygon art. The way the light reflects off the different facets is just so awesome. However, when sculptures like this have been made in the past, it's usually out of bent sheet metal, not solid aluminum like I would be making it out of. If Mr. Beast wants it, of course. With the face pretty much complete, there's only a few parts left until it's finished. But there is one big problem. Right now, this isn't a Mr. Beast logo, it's just a puma head. There's a couple of things I can do to fix this, but the main thing that's missing are these signature lightning bolts. For 50 million subscribers, I made the lightning bolt out of titanium Damascus, which we cut out on a laser cutter. But such a complex material wouldn't look right with the simple design of the sculpture. I decided it would be best if the lightning bolts were also faceted, but instead of metal, they would be cut out of some kind of crystal or glass. I think it looks really cool against the metal of the head, especially when the light hits it, but we're still missing the most important part. Remember, this is a 100 million subscriber play button, and it wouldn't be one without the red diamond, which, hello, I still haven't heard back about. It could go in a variety of places, but thankfully, I think I've got the perfect spot for it. The eyes. While I was finalizing the sculpture, I sunk in the eye sockets a little bit and started blocking out the red diamond shape. Designing crystals like this isn't easy, but it's much easier than actually making.
making them, so I try not to think about that too much. With that, the face is pretty much complete, but as of right now, there's still one major piece missing. The award looks incomplete, because there's nothing to hold it up or fill all this blank space. We need a connecting piece, both to secure the head in place and to add the final aspect to the design. Now, there's a lot of ways to go about something like this. I tried a ton of different possibilities, like making a fluid simulation or fracturing the bottom of the head, but none of them worked out quite how I'd have liked them to. But after a while, I finally found something that looked pretty cool. In 2018, a French artist managed to create sculptures of rocks being pulled apart out of bronze. The organic look of the metal would look super cool on this play button. And while I wouldn't do that exactly, you ever see the movie Venom? Here's my idea. The new object would be a liquid-like shape that curls up from the base and engulfs the back of the head. It's not quite like Venom in that it's a bit more liquidy, but that's the general idea I was going for. After hours of sculpting and countless variations, it was finally starting to get close. And I was starting to get very tired of this. Sculpting something like this is almost more difficult than the face because there's way less reference to go off of. I never quite decided whether I was going for liquid or tentacles, but it turned out looking pretty good. I think the wavy organic shape really emphasizes the faceted look of the face and the crystals. I haven't seen any other awards that look like this, which can mean one of two things. Either I'm a genius or it's really stupid to try this. Based on my track record, I'm gonna go with the second one. To wrap things up, let's talk materials. The face would be a dark and metal, just like the real red diamond play button. It could either be fully mirrored or partially matte. The eyes would be real red diamonds like they use in the real ones, and the base and connector pieces would be a glossy black surface. Coloring it is like way too crazy, and white doesn't exactly match the edgy aesthetic. Also, it looks like milk. I guess it could also be glass. That would be impossible to make though. And finally, after all those hours of pure pain, it felt so good to slap on that congratulations text and be able to confidently say this is one of the coolest award designs ever made that is definitely worthy to give to Mr. Beast. Before I show you the play button, Mr. Beast is a busy guy, so if you want him to see this, I need an army of you guys to descend upon this man. I'm gonna tweet this at him and I need all of you to go like that tweet. Don't have Twitter? Get Twitter. If not for me, for him. And without further ado, here is Mr. Beast's 100 million play button. Mr. Beast, 6,000, yeah, you know his name. He changed it once or twice, but I think it's here to stay. His thumbnails, well, they made in paint. But if you ask me, I think they're kind of quaint. Wait, this was weigh like 500 pounds. That might be a problem. 